Hi, I'm Colleen and I don't like coleslaw. And I'm Shannon and I don't like pork rinds. And we're Picky, Picky Eaters! You're not pregnant anymore. I'm not. Thank God. <laughs> it was a bummer. <laughs> Well, so we're here, we're back, we're in Galaxy's Edge yes. at Hollywood Studios. Yes, we're doing a special Star Wars episode. Yes, we're going to go to all the Star Wars places here. There's no sit-down Star Wars restaurants, but there's counter service places yeah. and the cantina, so we're going to go to all of those. Yes, and we're going to start with Ronto Roasters. Where we've never been. Yes, I mean, we've walked through it, because we've, we've just walked through there. there. And then we'll go to Oga's. Yep. And Catsacker's Kettle. Yep. And the Milk Stand and Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. That. That's all of them. Yep. So let's go. Oh, also it's Dapper Day. And we're Sabine and Hera for Dapper Day. From the cartoon. Yes. I mean, they wear similar clothing and colors in the live action, but. We're taking inspiration from Rebels. Yes. But you do have a son now. I do. So when he's older, you can dye his hair. I guess I gotta get Rob a Kanan outfit. Yeah. That's not too hard. No, he could do that. Yeah, I think he'd do. He'd, he'd go for it. Yeah, he'd be fine with that. Okay, let's eat. Welcome to Ronto Roasters. So we ordered a Ronto wrap, which is $13.29, which is roasted pork, grilled pork sausage, peppercorn sauce, and tangy slaw wrapped in peanut bread. So there's a lot of things on yeah, this. So we'll get yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. I very much like the sausage. I guess the roasted pork is in there. It's not bad. I might eat some more though. <laughs> yeah. Like there's a sauce, but. There's a little spicy. Um, but like in a spicy sausage kind of way, but it's not bad. So then we also got, this is the Surly Sarlacc for $15, which is Kettle One Botanical Grapefruit and Rose Vodka, Minute Maid Limeade, Raspberry, and Spicy Mango flavors. <laughs> yeah, that's fruity. That's fruity. You've said that's fruity like I'm three sorry. times. It's it's not like super strong. Like there's no super strong flavor, but it's fine. Shannon, Ray, and the Rebel Spy are down there. Okay, this is this is a non-alcoholic uh, Tatooine Sunset for six forty-nine. It's Gold Peak unsweetened tea and Minute Maid premium lemonade with melon and blueberry. It kind of just it looks like a Coca-Cola. Okay, yeah. I mean, it takes tastes like a like a fruit punch, but not very strong, like a slightly watered down fruit punch. His second sip was a little stronger, probably just getting into where it's mixed up. That's nice. Nice, fruity and refreshing drink. I'll keep drinking that. I got the Zuki wrap for $12.29, which is grilled zucchini, smoky chickpea onion slaw, creamy garlic tahini sauce, and fresh cilantro wrapped in pita bread. So that's one of the plant-based options. There are a couple plant-based options here at Rancho Roasters. Um, and I decided to be adventurous. I like zucchini. So, I like pita bread, but they're all in pita bread. That was mostly pita bread and zucchini, which 
So the pita bread's good. The zucchini was kind of like colder than I expected. But um, that might also be because it's been sitting here for a minute. But let's try it with more of this stuff. They do have forks and knives here, and we did get them. But no plates. But no plates. Okay, that was spicy. <laughs> it's like still hitting me. This is a spicy sauce. It wasn't bad. Um, I'm gonna try a bit more with my fork. Let me get some zucchini and a bit of everything else. more balanced once I got a bite of zucchini with it too. Less of a like, ah, the spicy. I probably wouldn't get this again. If I was going to come back, I'd get the regular Ronto wrap probably. Let me try it. Pauline's handing it to me. That's a good like hot dog, basically. So Ronto Roasters, which is over here by like the market, does have breakfast. This is a different menu, but they are only open for lunch until 3 o'clock. After that, since the Ronto wrap is pretty popular, it's then available at Docking Bay 7. So we don't have a long menu here. Um, the Ronto wrap for $13.29, and then the Kirill pork rinds for $7.49. Pork rinds seasoned in a savory blend of ancho chili, cheddar, smoke, and cinnamon. And then the plant-based options are the zuki wrap for $12.29 and andouin fruit with muha sauce for $6.99, which is sticks of jicama, cucumber, pineapple, melon, and dragon fruit doused in a tamarind sauce and dusted with peppercorn ash. And then there's a beer, Surabat Valley Harvest Brew, and then the like cocktails are the Surly Sarlacc for $15. And the Coruscant Cooler for $17, which is Maker's Mark Bourbon, Luxardo Maraschino Liqueur, Carpano, Carpano Antica Sweet Vermouth, cranberry and lime juice. And then the non-alcoholic specialty beverage is the Tatooine Sunset. And then there's just regular assorted Coca-Cola beverages. And so then they have um, some of that available at breakfast time. But then they have like the Ronto morning wrap, which has eggs. They've got the Triple Suns breakfast wrap, which is the plant-based breakfast one. This is like the smaller dining location for Galaxy's Edge. These weren't bad. So I can have our clickbaity title be I almost fainted in Oga's Cantina? Question mark, question mark, exclamation point. So we went to Katsaka's Kettle and there's buttered blue grains. Which are actually green. Yeah. Really. Which is $6.49. And the Outpost Popcorn Mix, a colorful blend of sweet and spicy flavors for $6.49. They also have Coca-Cola products and then a uh, cold brew that you can get spiked. Or not spiked and it has Cocoa Pops on the top of it. Which is very popular, but I've had it before and I didn't like it because we don't like coffee. So. Now it, it's interesting, it said in here sweet and spicy blend. Yeah. Um, it said on the sign sweet and savory. Okay. But purple and red. So this, at least the purple, tastes very much like kettle corn. Well, so far, this just tastes like popcorn. Okay, I guess I get, I wouldn't call it a spice, but like a savory flavor. I think this is what I've had before. I've never had this before. The Outpost popcorn mix. I mean, let's be real though, I've had this before. This is popcorn. Yes, they this tastes have like it blue. Disney popcorn. And blue mixed with yellow mixed green, and here we are. Okay, so, let's see. Yeah. Red. I think they're actually the same. They probably are. 
Yeah, it's kettle corn like, but like not quite the same flavor yeah. of kettle corn. Yeah, it's like there is a savory flavor there. I just can't really place it. No. So we also just went to Oga's, but it's so loud and packed in there, we decided we'd just talk about it after. So for Oga's, you need to make a reservation because it's very popular because it's the bar. And so we had a four o'clock reservation. Yeah. You checked in online. Did we go in at right about four o'clock? What time is it? It's four fifty three now. Maybe probably. Yeah. So they have a lot of cocktails. They also have some mocktails without alcohol, and then they have a couple um, snacks, like charcuterie board type things. Yeah, it's a uh, two bits, which is crispy galaxy snack bits with spice dip. And I looked that up. It's kind of like like veggies. And then the Hapabor sampler, which is cured and roasted meats, cheese, pork, cracklings. I got the Fuzzy Tauntaun for $18.50. Kettle One Botanical Peach and Orange Vodka. Bowls Peach Snaps Liqueur. Orange Juice with Tangerine. Pure Cane Sugar and Buzz Button Tingling Foam. I wouldn't have called the foam tingling, but it was... Foamy. Foamy and had a strong flavor. It was more than just texture on top. It was it was very tart. It was very orange tangerine flavor. It's funny because it comes, it looks like a beer, but it's not at all. Because there's foam on the top. Yeah, and it's kind of a an orangish color. I don't think I would get that again. I think it was kind of like too, too strong flavor for me, not too strong alcohol-wise. Although, I did almost faint. And I don't know if that's because of the alcohol, but um, if you go to Oga's, you're probably going to be standing. We were at a standing high top table with a big group of people so that we're all together. So it's like, even if you're with a big group, you're not guaranteed a sit-down table. There's not a lot of sit-down tables. There's a couple tables that I think like you'd have to have a big group to get to sit mm -hmm. at, but I don't think that's going to guarantee you you get to sit. But you are, I mean, if you're going to go, I would plan on you're going to stand. And you're allowed to be there for like 45 minutes. Yeah. And there's no bathroom inside. There's no bathroom inside because I started to feel faint. I was like, I really just wanted to sit down. If the table near us had not had a lot of people at it, I would have kind of been like, I'm just going to sit down there for a second. But I was like, well, I'll just go to the bathroom. But then I asked a cast member and there wasn't a bathroom inside. So I had to go. If you are, if you know about the layout of Galaxy Z, you have to like go past the um, TIE Fighter and over towards Droid Depot. And the bathroom that's closer to Droid Depot Shannon. is the closest one to Ogos. What is not a TIE Fighter? I'm sorry. It's an Imperial Shuttle, but okay. Yes, the Imperial Shuttle. I almost fainted. I was very distracted. Because, uh -huh. yeah, I just suddenly did not feel good. I don't think that was because of the drink. I think I was already kind of feeling not great today. So stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, and that's we were like, let's go get some popcorn. Yeah. But your drink. I got the best bin fizz, which is a Bacardi Superior Rum, Yuzu puree, puree, pomegranate juice, white cranberry juice, and a cloud swirl. I don't know what the cloud swirl was. It was also very tart. I liked it. I did not drink all of it. If Shannon hadn't have had to have like left the bar and we kept yeah. standing there, I probably would have drank after it. After Shannon left, I took sips of Shannon's drink and I actually think I like yours better. Really? I think I like yours better. Okay then. I have been to the bar multiple times and I'm pretty sure I have at least tasted every drink. Like of the cocktails, not like the beers or anything. Oh, probably not the Bloody Rancor, which is basically a Bloody Mary because I'm not about that. Or the mocktail either. No, but I remember like, I don't remember ever there being something that I was like, oh man, I don't like this. Because I went with like a big group one time and we like all ordered something different and just like passed them around. So which one's your favorite? I really like the Yub Nub, um, which is the drink that comes with the souvenir cup. The cup is real cool. But it is $46. If you ask to get it without the cup, you can get it without the cup. Like, you'll be served it in the cup, but, like, you won't get to keep the cup. I think on the paper menu it said $48. I thought, too. But on the online menu it says $46. So just double check that if you do want to get that. Um, and so it used to be a brown 
souvenir mug and now it's a blue one. But I think the design is the same. The design is the same. It's like a tiki mug if you're into collecting tiki mugs. You probably already know about it. You probably already have it. So this popcorn, obviously you like the regular popcorn better. I do. Um, I like the, the sweet one, the outpost mix. I think it's... Um, How much does normal popcorn cost? Normal popcorn? I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's try to find it on the internet. But what I was going to say is, if you like kettle corn, this isn't a bad option. It's a nice kind of different thing. Popcorn snack costs around $5.75. I don't know when that's from. That sounds right. Though. But This is just regular popcorn. And I'm pretty sure it's like a dollar more expensive than if you just bought popcorn anywhere else. At Disney? Yeah. You could buy popcorn for a dollar somewhere else. Um, really, all that's special about it is it's a color. I don't think a lot of people really notice that the cat Sackers kettle is there. It's next to Ronto Roasters, but like in the market. Back to the bar. Yeah. The bar is really cool. Um, and you know, has that like Moss Lively Cantina vibe, and there's the DJ Rex, which is a robot, and you know, it's it cool. The pilot of Old Star Tours. So, you know. If you can get a reservation, I suggest going. It's pretty cool. Yeah, if you like the like bar atmosphere. I think if you like like Trader Sam's. Oh yeah. You'd probably like it. I say oh yeah, I've never been to Trader Sam's, so I've been here multiple also, times. Also I assume if you like Trader Sam's, you've already been here <laughs> to um Bogos, but Okay, so next we'll be going to Docking Bay 7, where we're actually sitting in the kind of courtyard of. Well, we need to get milk, too. Oh, yeah, and milk. We might do that next. I'm not hungry for dinner yet. The word milk just makes me think of my baby. Okay, we have one blue milk, one green milk. This green milk is kind of yellow. Just so you know, there are no milk products in blue and green milk. It is coconut and rice milk and food dye, probably. So nothing about this is appealing to me. I don't even know what that tastes like. I don't know. They do taste different. This one tastes green. They're creamy. They kind of taste like popsicles, but I don't know what flavor popsicles. These two young boys living on the streets, they can't even bear to look up in their data pads, all right? They've lost the will to live. One side of order and they're back on their feet. The lieutenant so rudely interrupted our vlog. Um, now he's walking around. Just making sure he wasn't gonna walk over here. Okay, so the blue milk has fruity characteristics and the green milk has uh, citrus and tropical characteristics. Which is also fruit. Which is also fruit. So, I don't know what it means, but. Okay, it is fruity. Does not taste like milk. Okay, that one's more citrusy. I can see it now. Um, I think I like this one better. I definitely get what you were saying about popsicles. This one especially. Yeah, I like this one better. This one's a little creamier, but also we've been out here for a couple minutes now. So I don't know if it's maybe like melted a little bit more, but they're very 
bit odd, but if you're looking for like something fruity, um, and you can also get them with rum or tequila, which might make a difference to you. Um, you might like it. I would say like, especially if you're not coming here often, like you're not pass holder like us, you should try one. Um, I guess if you like more citrusy, get the green milk. If you like more regular fruit, get the blue milk. But they don't taste like milk. They definitely taste like fruit, like slushies. So they're interesting, kind of weird. So here we are at Dogging Bay 7. And I have the Batuan beef and crispy topado stir fry. Smoky braised beef glaze in tamarind sauce. However, you could choose what you wanted as your side. So you could get the stir fry, herbed yuca and stir fry vegetables, or you get my green cheese and vegetables, or white rice and roasted vegetables. So I got white rice and roasted vegetables, which is just broccoli. So I'll start with broccoli. Yep, yeah, that tastes like bland broccoli. And that tastes like white rice, so cool, so far so good. There's no knife. I guess this comes apart pretty easily. I was worried about not having a knife, but it pulls apart really easy. It's good. There was a weird aftertaste on the broccoli, which might be the sauce that's on the beef and it just didn't work on the broccoli, but. I got the fried Andorian chicken tip yip, crispy chicken served with house-made mac and cheese and roasted vegetables. But again, um, we mobile ordered, you could pick white rice instead of mac and cheese. Got these two like barrels of chicken. I, the vegetables are just broccoli. Yep, tastes like doesn't really taste like roasted broccoli, it kind of tastes like steamed broccoli. The mac and cheese is like weird shapes, which is fun. Very cheesy, very creamy cheese. Kind of a like Velveeta taste, I think. I guess I don't have a knife, so I'm just gonna bite into my big piece of chicken. It kind of tastes like McDonald's chicken nuggets. This one's nice. But not quite the same. Just like, it made me think of that with the breading. But it, it tastes like higher quality chicken. So yeah, this is good. You know, I think like these meals and the wraps we had earlier feel like kind of higher quality than most quick service. Higher quality food. And we also got um, the dessert, which is the Outpost Puff for $7.79, which is a chocolate pastry filled with guajillo chocolate mousse, finished with Thai tea, panna cotta, spiced pineapple, and confectionery debris. First off, nothing about this dessert looks appealing. It is a weird smush of stuff on a plate. I don't know where to start. This looks like a sponge. I don't know. It's hard. I, like, I'm stuck. It's hard to get through. That was just like chocolate phyllo dough or something. I'm not good at it. Okay, that's chocolate mousse with like fruit bits. I guess that's like whipped cream. Sort of. It's such an unappealing color. <laughs> that mac and cheese was so cheesy. It's just like, now I feel full of cheese. It's just your nightmare. 
I'll get some of the sponge. Okay. I did not like something in there. I think this. Fruit compote? Yeah. Fruit. No. Did not like that. This whatever the sponge is tasted fine, but I didn't really like the texture. I can still feel the fruit on my mouth. That was better. That was just chocolate. And yeah, I don't know. I guess this is like whipped cream. Let me clear my palate. It kind of tastes like white chocolate. Yeah, so you've got this chocolate shell that's very hard, that has mousse in it, and a green sponge, and then you've got these fruits that I don't like. Maybe they're raspberries. Yeah, the sponge is just a texture. What's this this yellow stuff? Hold on, we're gonna Okay, it's pineapple. Pineapple. That makes sense. Panna cotta. Something's pan is that the yellow or the orange stuff? I don't know. What is panna cotta? <laughs> pan means bread. Panna cotta is an Italian dessert of sweetened cream thickened with gelatin and molded. That might be the yellowy stuff. Okay. Yeah, that tastes like creamy. I don't really love it. Okay, so we're we're mixed on this dessert. I like the chocolate mousse. This was our Star Wars episode. Yeah. We ate the things in Star Wars Galaxy Edge. All the things. All the things. No. Should we start at the beginning? Sure. So Many hours ago. We had Ronto wraps, which we'd never had before. And that was much better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Because I, I tried the regular Ronto wrap, and I liked that better than the Zuki wrap. Yeah. I ended up finishing yours. The sausage was good. It was a good sausage, and I think that really helped. It was a... Like, a hot dog, but like a good hot dog, not an Oscar Mayer hot dog, which I also love. Oscar Mayer sponsors. So yeah, it was good, and it was like the other stuff that was on it really wasn't that noticeable. No, I was surprised because like I don't like coleslaw. Yeah, I ate some more of the zucchini wrap. Like, you know, it wasn't for me. My button came on the. I think I would have liked it better if the zucchini had been like warm, if it had been like roasted. But I don't know, maybe if you need something plant based, it wasn't like bad. Yeah. I guess you can just look at the ingredients and see if you like them. And we liked the both drinks the non alcoholic yeah. and the alcoholic drink were good. Refreshing, fruity things. Yeah. I would get those again. Yeah. I, I, I'd like to try the breakfast wraps sometime, yeah, but I would have to get here before 11 a.m. So we don't do that. So then we went to the cantina. Yeah, we went to Oga's. And we enjoyed both of our drinks. Yeah. I don't think either of them would be my favorite drink from there. Sure. At some point, I'll have to get the yub nub. Yeah. And I'll get the souvenir cup. I'll go with mom and dad. I had also thought about getting the like the Jedi mind trick, which was some kind of fruity vodka and like blue curacao and stuff. But 
because I feel like I would like that. Again, I've tasted most of them and I've enjoyed them all. So, and it's cool. Yeah. It's a cool place. Yes, so then we got popcorn. Popcorn, while the popcorn was perfectly good popcorn, uh, it is more expensive than popcorn yeah. elsewhere in the park because it's here, so I wouldn't buy yeah. it because it's not worth that extra dollar um, for it to be blue. Yeah, and I like, I like the kettle corn ish one. Um, it's like I said, if you really are like craving kettle corn, you prefer kettle corn over regular popcorn, then sure. And like you want to get something more themed. Um, but like themed, like it's just colored popcorn. It's pop just colored popcorn, pop, yeah. So. Then milk. Then milk. I didn't like the milks. The milks are weird. They're not milk like at all. Don't get them. No. <laughs> I, I ended up liking the green milk. I carried it around for a bit. It was I just threw it out because we got on the ride. Um, we were gunners, not pilots. I threw the blue milk out like right away. Yeah, we just threw the blue milk out because I didn't really like that one. I would I would rather have milk that was blue. I'd rather just have milk. Yeah, like why? Why? Like why is it? I mean, it's so it's coconut milk. and rice milk, so it is like a milk. But then once you mix in the coconut and whatever the other stuff is, it doesn't taste like milk. I don't know what rice milk usually tastes uh, like. I assume it tastes kind of like dairy milk. It's just weird. I mean, like if you hate coconut, I just don't get it. But then again, I'd be like, I don't like coconut, and I was fine with the green one. I didn't feel like it tasted like coconut. No. I I felt like I could, like knowing that it was coconut, I could kind of detect that. Sure. Um, and then we came here. So talking make seven, which I think you know has pretty good food. Like I've had the chicken Shannon had. Although the last time I had the chicken, it was different. It came yeah. with mashed potatoes, and it was not like two barrels of chicken. It was like a long piece of chicken. Yeah, we were looking it up, and it did used to be different. And you, but you could also still get it with white rice. And then there were different veggies but that's also probably seasonal yeah so I think like a year or two ago they kind of refreshed the menu and there's like also a spicy chicken version that I think was added then so I think they just changed some stuff around but you know it's like I don't know mac and cheese just doesn't feel very Star Wars to me no. I don't know why I guess it's too American? I don't know. Um, I would have rather had mashed potatoes or rice. I would always rather have mashed potatoes, but the chicken was pretty good. I ate all the chicken. I mean, I ate all the chicken and all the mac and cheese, and I only left one piece of broccoli because I was just like, I don't want it anymore. But I tried your beef, and I was like, it was very sweet. It was sweet. Not necessarily in a bad way. No, but it was good. I didn't finish it all, just kind of because it like didn't hit the spot today. Not because there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, it was a little chewy. Um, but I but. think like the food is kind of more interesting than like. Yeah. Now I will say Disney's like their counter service isn't all just chicken fingers. And They've improved anymore. a lot in the past few years. It's more interesting food, I think, than well, like really, a lot you're of not gonna go to places. very many counter service at all that has like beef other than a hamburger. That's true. And they they were like chicken nuggets, but um, better different chicken nuggets from regular Disney chicken nuggets. I don't want to say better because I love regular Disney chicken nuggets. But I think it was a higher quality chicken. Sure. Um, and so yeah, it's a different kind of chicken. It was a thinner, softer breading. You know, there are meals here to appeal to picky eaters like us that are different from the similar meals at other court yeah. services. Yes. Yeah. Um, then this dessert, which was very difficult to like cut through and it yeah. just is not visually appealing at all. Yeah, like I really like the chocolate mousse in the middle. But like it just visually it's not That's a good chocolate mousse. But yeah. The pastry part was hard. And it was too hard. And it's just um, visually weird looking. I don't know what it is that like <clears throat> is burning the back of my throat. Yeah, yeah, something is burning the back of my throat. Um, so there's that. I don't know, we're allergic to pineapple? No, I'm not allergic to pineapple. No, I know. But 
because that's like biting the moose yeah just now it was like oh now it's burning the back of my throat and I don't know what well that's that. weird because I thought at first it was the pineapple okay well that's weird I wouldn't recommend the taste no no I feel like in general Galaxy's Edge has options for picky eaters like I feel like these meals are pretty accessible yeah yeah. I know we were surprised in mobile order to see that you could pick mac and cheese or rice. Yeah. Now, the Ronto wraps are pre-made. You're not yes. customizing that. Though, honestly, I think it would have been pretty easy to wipe all the slaw off. Yeah. Because it wasn't, but then like, really creamy Just slaw. go get a hot dog somewhere. Yeah. The bar is a cool experience. Yeah. And, like, and it's cool looking in here, too. Yeah, I like it in here. And I feel like... Like, both times I've come here, there's always been seating. I'm sure it's busier, like, peak times yeah. of the day, but... I think, you, like, mo we mobile ordered here, we mobile ordered at Ronto Roasters. Mm -hmm. I think you can mobile order the popcorn. Probably. You just need a reservation for Ogos. You do. You do need a reservation. So if you want to do Ogos, definitely get a reservation as far in advance as you can. Yes. Um, especially if you're wanting to do, like, the bar at night, like... You know, you're drinking at night. I mean, yeah, because the bar opens in the park opens. Like, yeah. you could go at 8 in the morning. I That seems like a bad idea, but, like, you could. Which I guess if you're having trouble making reservations, that might be the time to look at. I mean, yeah. So, like, I... That really determined the schedule for our whole day. Was yeah. I looked and there was a reservation for four, and so that's when we went. How are we gonna rate this? I guess just like as a whole. Yeah. I don't know. It's always hard to rate like Ogos, like to rate like a bar. I think I liked the the Ronto wrap better than this. Me too. I would. Yeah, I'd rather get that again. It was good. Um, which I did not expect at all. No. I was like, okay, we're gonna get the wraps out of the way. Yeah. So Ronto wraps was good. Yeah. I like. I think the bar is good. Yes. Popcorn is fine. Yeah. Like it tasted fine. It's just kind of not worth it. Yeah. And then milk, bad. Yeah. And then this is fine. Yeah. The upper level of fine. So, like somewhere between a three and a four. We have three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So, Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge, food and drink. Three and a half. Yes. Out of five chicken tip yips. <laughs> I wanted to talk about, it's yes. not food related, but I have done the lightsaber making experience and it is freakishly expensive. It is really cool. It's relatively quick, like it was like 25 minutes. It was way faster than I expected it to be. But uh, Rob and I did it last year and it was really cool. And I was like, I want to do it again. Like if it didn't cost so much money, I'd like, I'd have done it 20 times. It's really awesome. And if you like don't go broke to do it you know but if you're like oh man I want to save money and I want this to be a thing and you're into Star Wars I'd recommend it because it was really cool yeah I haven't done it but I already wanted to do it and you make me want to do it more. it's real cool so I'm like we have not built a droid no I'm sure that's fun but that's less of an experience yeah how's having a baby having a baby is very tiring but you got to come here today. I did get to come Rob. here. I left him with Rob. Uh, we'll see how that went. Yeah. Uh, Rob's great. He can totally take care of the baby, but it's hard to do it on your own. Like, I'm with him all alone all day, and Rob comes home, and I'm like, you take him, and I don't want to talk to either of you. Goodbye. That's it. I don't have anything booked for next time. Oh, well, we'll figure that out. Um, Happy Later. belated holidays by the time you're watching this. Yeah. It's not Christmas yet for us. But I hope you're having a good New Year so far. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.